guys, welcome back to Shino's. We're here with Brandy Glanville from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Brandy, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me of today. Of course, of course. So tell us about season four. What can we expect? <laughs> A lot of drinking and tweeting. Yes. No, I'm joking. Uh, well, not really. I mean, I think that uh, there's a lot of drinking for sure, but there, you know, all the friendships and the dynamics change this season, and it's a slow change, so it's not like you just jump off and you see that uh, we're no longer friends anymore. It's just this slow evolution of, you know, all of us becoming, you know, just different. It's just different. We're changing. What relationships are different, can you say? Like, I hear a little rumor about you and Lisa, which breaks my heart. No. You know, I really love Lisa, and um, I hope that we'll one day again be friends. Unfortunately, some stuff went down that, for me, right now, I can't forgive. Mm. But she's also not asking me to forgive her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I just, I love her so much, and there's a lot of feelings there. So I think that's why I'm so hurt. What about your boyfriend, Ken? Is that going to stay okay? Well, I think anytime, you know, Lisa and Ken are such a dynamic duo, and they are, he is, he's her other half, mm -hmm. so... And, you know, unfortunately, I'm not really speaking to either one of them because they go hand in hand. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out at some mm -hmm. point. Okay. Well, I hope, I hope you do. I, I hope so, to too. That. So tell <laughs> us about the new cast members. We have two new ladies this season. We have Carlton Jebbia and Joyce Gerard. Okay. Interesting. So, and your thoughts, your thoughts on them. I like Carlton and I don't like Joyce. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us why? Uh, I can't tell you exactly why, but I'll just say that Carlton's a real girl's girl, and she doesn't put up with anyone's BS. She has a tattoo that says, like, F you, which okay. is kind of scary in itself. And Joyce needs to be in the center of all the drama, even if it doesn't have anything to do with her. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's, it's, for her, she's seeking out her moment to be famous and get involved in things that have nothing to do with her. Interesting. So would you maybe say Carlton was, maybe reminds you of yourself in season... Too? We're definitely very different people. Um, she's like a little more like rock and roll and hardcore, and I'm a little more girly and frilly, but we definitely have a similar personality where we love to have fun, we have young children, our children are friends, you know, my son has a crush on her daughter, don't, I don't want to get him in trouble, uh -oh. I won't say which one, because <laughs> she has two daughters, um, but no, she's just, she's a real girl's girl, even though she's a little you know, rough around the edges for some of the ladies. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy her personality. Now, is she the one who is, who practices witchcraft? Is that fair to say? Yes, yes. she um, does practice witchcraft. It's it's like a, a mishmash of all these different kind of things that she practices. Mm -hmm. She'd be able to tell you better what it is okay. because she doesn't, um, she doesn't belong to the covenant. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of her own little religion with some Wiccan ideas. Interesting. Um, how did the cast members accept them? Were they accepted? Was it tough at first? You know, uh, yeah, at watch. first, at first, actually, we all got along really well. Okay. So you'll see that fall apart soon. Okay, great. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Look it yes. out. But I mean, in the beginning, I mean, you don't judge a book by its cover, and mm -hmm. we, I definitely hit it off more with Carlton from the get go. Okay. Um, but Joyce and her husband, I found to be very lovely for my first meeting with them, mm -hmm. and that soon changes. Interesting. Can't wait. So tell us about some of your recent endeavors. I know you have the new podcast. Yes, I have a new podcast called Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. Fun. It's, uh, yes, it is actually really fun. It's on Podcast One, mm -hmm. and it debuts tomorrow. Okay. Um, I get to turn the tables and do the interviewing and be a little raunchy and yeah. fun and try to put people on the spot. I'm also clearing up rumors, like tabloid stuff that's out there mm -hmm. and taking Twitter questions and... You know, I just trying to keep it interactive, but it's it is really a good time. Okay, great. And the book Drinking and Dating. Yes. Out in February. Yes. There's lots of drinking going on. Um, drink, <laughs> we actually I wanted to name it Tweeting and Dating, but mm -hmm. my publisher thought that maybe if the next book, if we do a trilogy, mm -hmm. keeping the first drink, you know, because drinking and tweeting, drinking and dating, uh -huh. drinking and something else. So yeah. They wanted to keep it the same. Which I was like, well, I wasn't really drinking that much on my dates, but okay, we can do that. <laughs> um, but yes, it's going to be out in February. Okay. Um, I was talking to you earlier. There's a lot of going on, and hopefully we'll make our pub date. But I've handed it in, and you know, fingers crossed yep. that it does as well as the first one. You've done what you can. I'm sure it will. 
Um, and last but not least, do you have any insight into your love life you can share? Any special men out there? My special men are Mason and Jake, 10 and 6. Um, <laughs> I love them so much. Uh, right now, you know, I'm kind of doing this on again, off again thing with a guy that's been around for a year. Okay. Probably not the healthiest situation to be in. I know, I know how that goes. Okay. I think most of my <laughs> girlfriends know that situation well, but it's like sometimes it's better than being alone. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, thinking, I, I really think right now it's time for me to focus on work, and mm -hmm. that's why I'm not meeting the right guy. Mm -hmm. Busy, very yeah. busy, I'm sure. Yes. So do you have anything else in the works? I do, actually. Um, there's a top secret thing that's going on that I can't tell you about. Bummer. I, I know. I feel like I have 100 jobs. I have the podcast. I have the new book. I write for an Australian magazine, NW Magazine. Once a week, I do an article. Nice. Um, I kind of talk about everything pop culture, which I'm doing on the podcast, too. Mm -hmm. So I'll be talking a lot about people I don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> and that aren't things that aren't my business. But Making it's really fun. Yeah, right? <laughs> One, th one thing at a time, okay. making those friends. That's funny. Thanks for coming in, Brandy. Thanks for having me. Of course. Make sure to check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Bye.